Hey, what's up? Welcome to DGen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of Polestar Automotive, ticker symbol PSNY. And so here I am recording this on the evening of Monday, May 20th, after Polestar closed at a price of $1.10, being down a little over 11% on the day but going up a little bit in the after hours, just by about three cents, closing the after hours session up 2.73%. And so this is a pretty big day for Polestar because not only was a new all-time low hit, uh, but the price closed just one penny above that all-time low, so not looking so great. But I did want to go over a couple things that could potentially suggest that a bottom is in, but ultimately, you know, there is quite the possibility that this does continue lower. And so I also wanted to go over that. And so here, you know, I've gone over these levels before, whether in the last video or during live streams. And so one of the levels that has stood out to me has been this 1618 extension from this orange Fibonacci retracement here. And so that is at a price of $1.13.3. And so we did close below that level today, but following the after hour session, price is right around that level. So maybe that is good that price is reclaiming that, but being down more than 11% on the day, breaking below this low here, that was at a price of $1.16 not looking so great there but there are a couple things that could suggest that we may be seeing a reversal soon although you know i must say i do feel like this is doubtful i do feel like there will be at least a little bit more to the downside before a bottom is found and so one of those things that is potentially bullish potentially suggesting a reversal is near is if we do look at the price here the lows we have formed lower lows in the price, whereas with the RSI, we have formed a higher low. However, if price does continue down tomorrow, the RSI could continue down as well. And so with the RSI being 32.59 for the day of the 20th, it would be forming a lower low if it went lower than the low hit on April 25th and that was at 28.67, so 28.67. So if the RSI does dip below that, that would negate any of this bullish divergence that we're seeing. So, you know, and I do feel like that is likely, and the reason for that is because if we look at the volume down here, volume has spiked up a lot on these past two red days, past two down days. With Friday of last week, price coming down just 3%, a little over 3%, so not that crazy. But, you know, you do see that volume spiked up a lot, and that volume has continued to be elevated with this continuation to the downside and breaking below this 1618 extension. So that does make me think that price could be going lower. And with price being just above a dollar, that makes me think that price will likely be driven to one dollar, likely sub one dollar. Because, you know, if I was a short seller, you know, which I am not, I would view whether it's Polestar or any stock, driving it below one dollar to be kind of like a reward or uh, a trophy. And with it being only nine, ten cents away from one dollar a share, I do feel like that is likely. But, you know, it also could be finding some support. And one thing, you know, just really from a doodle that I did right before making the video, if I do connect this ray, a pivot point from the low here at $1.30, connect it to the low here at $1.16, we can see that that may be acting as support where the current price is closing, you know, really just barely below that level. Uh, but it does look like 110, maybe 111 uh, could be support respected here, you know, based on these two pivot points. So that is possible. But, you know, with 11% down on the day, I do feel like it is going to be coming down to at least a dollar a share, whether that's this week, next week. I just do feel like that is pretty likely. But 
It is also possible that it does bounce from here. Maybe it reclaims $1.26 or this prior low of $1.30. Maybe it gets up to $1.48.6 or right around $1.50 where there was this consolidation here, but I do suspect that will act as resistance as it has acted as resistance here. And I do think ultimately that this will be hitting $1 a share. But, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the bottom is in here. And, you know, I could also see that as being likely. But right now, I feel like it's kind of a toss up. But I do feel like the odds are more in the favor of the downside than the upside. So I do think it's a little risky right now, but I did just want to share my thoughts. And so if you did find them helpful, make sure you like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching.